Hi guys, it's Mike here from uh, Celtic Hunters UK. Um, <clears throat> today, uh, I want to show you two things. First thing is, I want to show you a round. It's a rimfire round. It's the big brother of all rimfires. And it's called the Winchester Super Magnum. And I want to compare it to its little brother, which is the 17 HMR. And to show you that the difference the visual difference of the two rounds itself so what we got here we've got the 17 hmr as you can see it's a v max one a day lovely little round you can't fault it nice and flat got a bit of a punch great for vermin control you can shoot foxes with it i wouldn't go over 100 yards but 100 yards is ideal no wonder so that's the small brother, the 17 HMR. Now, that comes in a box of 50, like this. As you can see there, that's a box of 50. There it is, in there. Nice little box of 50 rounds. That's the size of the box. The 17 WSM comes in a box like that if I can that, put that box next to the other box look at the difference guys yeah did not say something whoops get that one the other way there we go there it is and it comes in cartons of round of 50 rounds in the box itself yep so the round looks like that it's a v-max and i compare it with the 17 hmr guys see the difference it's thicker it's longer this the 3000 feet Per second so if you zero this in at 100 yards you'll be four inches low at 200 yards so the 17 hmr you zero this at 100 yards it's going to be 11 inches low at 200 yards so there's a bit of a difference in the drop this running a lot twice as fast than what this is you've got twice as much power and a lot flatter for a lot further so it makes it the ideal vermin control foxing rabbiting round now when you got a bullet you need a gun oh yeah of course you do yeah that's a silly thing to say isn't it really it's obvious isn't it the gun which I'm going to about to show you is it was manufactured by Savage called the Savage B Mag. And it comes in with a stainless steel 22 inch heavy barrel and a grey laminated thumbhole stock. And um, I'm just going to go into a bit more detail with that. This is the gun. Beautiful gun. This I use, I would say, 95% of most of my my shooting nights out, um, especially foxing, rabbiting. I'm knocking foxes down 225, 250 yards with this. No problems. None whatsoever. It, it, it just, I can't go into it how good that that gun is. You know, it's the bullet and the gun together is a fantastic combination. Right. The gun, as I said, is a rimfire um, rifle manufactured by Savage. It's got a magazine capacity, uh, on, which is a rotary Savage rotary magazine. It carries eight rounds and not the 10 due to the size of the bullet. It has a one and eight twist and the other thing about what i like about this gun is the weight 
when you hump it over fields, you don't want nothing too heavy. It weighs 6.1 pounds and scoped with the ATN 4K Pro. It's about eight and a half pounds. So that's ideal for me, um, being an old codger. But I absolutely love it, guys. Really, really do. Um, before I put this gun onto the table, I did clear it, and there was no rounds in the chamber, and there was no magazine inserted into the rifle. But I want to talk about the bolt. Now, as you can see, here's the bolt right there. There's the bolt. It's got a big knob at the end. Don't take that personally, guys. There is a big knob. You need that with this bolt. You need it. Some people don't like it, but I love it because it really helps you ram that bolt home. And it needs ramming home because this bolt only cocks when you close, you push forward and close the bolt. It doesn't cock when you lift the bolt up and pull it back. It closes, it cocks when you pushed it forward and you closed the bolt. That's cock, that got cock the gun. The, the, the firing pin in this gun, it's, it, it's round. Um, not, not kind of oblong like most um, rim fire firing pins are. And it's also got a heavy duty spring in it due to the round. And it's also got a very rugged extractor, which never failed me. I've, brings it out every time you know you need it for this round um people say to me mike what's all that black stuff on your gun now this black stuff on my gun is masking tape duct tape um over the years i've been shooting for quite a few years now and i found when you put it into a on, on a rest when you're out shooting um because at my age you know with the jitters you know i need to really sturdy platform and good grips by having this on it doesn't mark the gun even if i took this off now there'd be no marks on the gun but this saves any marks coming on the gun from me playing it on the grips um some people like it some people can't understand why i'm doing it even like when i tell them but i like it and it saved me marking the stock on this gun what else can i talk about well all I can say, guys and girls, the combination of the Winchester WSM and the gun can't get better. It's 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 fantastic. Uh, the only hiccup with it, basically, is is the availability of the rounds. When when the rounds come out, I usually buy quite a few to last me the year um, because the next resupply could be six months to a year away um, I've been waiting now for about five months six months for a resupply and that's not due until September it's getting better um, it's, it's a lot better than what it was um, because there's, there's not many of them getting sold in the UK um, not many people know about it, to tell you the truth. Um, but it is getting better. That You know, the, the sales are slightly improving. So there's more and more people getting to know the round and like it and spreading the word. So the more people get that round, gets the gun, you know, the quicker the resupply is going to be. I know there's a shortage of all ammunition at the moment, but um, even when there wasn't, we were still struggling to get the rounds into the UK. But they're coming in September, so we should be out to the, the gun shops in about October, I've been told, so which is good news, so I get enough to last me six months, probably. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned on the barrel, was I did say it was a 22-inch barrel, but it's also threaded for a moderator at the end. And this one, I've got the Wildcat moderator. Um, suits the gun to a T. Cuts down the length, comes back a bit. And uh, absolutely brilliant. Can't fault it. Um, you don't need to bed the stock um, like you do with some stocks. You know, when most boys 
gun stocks are brilliant. You never need to bed them. But sometimes you might get the odd gun where you think you might have to bed it. But um, but this one I didn't need it, thank God. So the Acri trigger on it, two stage. Typical Acri trigger, as you can see, are there. It's two stage. That there, hardly any creep at all. And bam, off it goes. I got this down to two pounds. It comes about three and a half pounds. Um, from the manufacturer but i got it down to two pounds suits me um i never miss for this gun guys it, it it's so bloody accurate you know it's i love it i love it to bits I, i'm not trying to promote it where i get kickbacks i'm not into that i don't need kickbacks i'm just saying what i think is a good piece of kit and this is a good piece of kit can't get better. Anyway, I'll be coming back next week um, for, with another video. Um, I'm probably looking at the um, MP1522 at the Performance Centre and um, in 22LR. So probably doing a, unless things change, um, but I'm looking at doing that next week as a quick review. Um, I've got some range work um, to show at some stage and wait to do two more other guns and then i'll do it all in one setting and um so i will be showing you what this shoots like um in a later video um that's it guys um i bored you for 11 and a half minutes um take care of yourself happy hunting don't forget to like and subscribe and faith walking family see you guys and ladies